large animal medicine. The symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment of wooden tongue in cattle. Actinobacillosis. Wooden tongue. Actinobacillus ligneresi may cause lesions in the tongue, pharynx and its associated glands and in the stomach of cattle. Those in the tongue give rise to the syndrome, wooden tongue, in which anapotence and interference with swallowing occur. But first subscribe to the veterinary channel for more videos. Incidents. Occur sporadically, although several cases may occur on one farm in one year. Epidemiology. As a ligneresi is part of the normal flora of the bovine body the initiating factor of the infection is important. Rough grasses, twigs or barley stalks may initiate the disease. Transmission to other cattle may occur if discharges from wounds contaminate pasture. Clinical sings. It often appears to be of sudden onset. The affected animal has difficulty in swallowing and may be anorexic. Excessive salivation is often seen. Swelling may be present under the jaw, particularly if the local lymph nodes are involved. Examination of the tongue is resented but if carried out, the base of the tongue is found to be thickened and fibrous. If inspection is possible, small discharging ulcers or swellings may be seen along the sides of the tongue. In chronic cases the tongue is shrunken and immobile and marked loss of condition occurs. In chronic cases lymph nodes may rupture to discharge thin yellowish pus. Ulcers and nodules discharging pus have been recorded on the skin and infection within the rumen may give rise to abdominal pain or ruminal tympani. Diagnosis. The clinical signs are fairly distinctive, but examination for foreign bodies and other causes of excessive salivation should be carried out. The cervical lymphadenitis is more difficult to differentiate, especially from other bacterial infections of these lymph nodes. Treatment. Sodium iodide, sulfonamides for example sulfatamidine sodium, penicillin, streptomycin and tetracyclines can also be used and may be more convenient, particularly in non-lactating animals. 5. Daily, intramuscular, doses of streptomycin is probably the commonest and most effective treatment. Control. Isolate animals with discharging lesions in order to prevent the contamination of feed with the discharges. Actinobacillus ligniarisi has been linked to lesions in cattle's tongue, throat, and related glands, as well as the stomach. Those in the tongue cause the wooden tongue condition, which causes inapidence and swallowing difficulties. Incidence of the wooden tongue It occurs seldom, yet numerous occurrences on a single farm may happen in a single year. Epidemiology of the wooden tongue the beginning factor of the infection is significant because Actinobacillus ligniarisi is part of the normal flora of the bovine body. Actinobacillus ligniarisi can spread the illness via rough grasses, twigs, or barley stalks. If wound discharges contaminate grass, transmission to other cattle may occur. The clinical manifestations of the wooden tongue. It frequently appears to be rapid in the start, with the affected animal having trouble swallowing and maybe anorexia as well as excessive salivation. Swelling under the jaw is possible, especially if the local lymph nodes are implicated. The veterinarian should not examine the tongue, but if it is, its base is discovered to be thicker and fibrous. Small discharge sores or swellings may be visible along the sides of the tongue if an inspection is possible. In chronic situations, the tongue shrinks and becomes immobile, resulting in a significant loss of condition. Lymph nodes may burst in chronic cases, releasing thin yellowish pus. On the epidermis, ulcers and nodules releasing pus have been seen, 
while infection in the rumen might cause stomach pain or ruminal tympani. Diagnosis of the wooden tongue Although the clinical indications are different, a thorough check for foreign bodies and other reasons for increased salivation is recommended. It's more difficult to tell the difference between cervical lymphadenitis and other bacterial infections of these lymph nodes. Treatment of the wooden tongue In non-lactating animals, sodium iodide, sulfonamides such as sulfatamidine sodium, penicillin, streptomycin, and tetracyclines can also be used and may be more convenient. Streptomycin, given intramuscularly five times a day, is probably the most common and successful treatment. Control of the wooden tongue. Isolate animals with discharging lesions to avoid discharges from contaminating the feed. Large animal medicine. The symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment of wooden tongue in cattle, 